Swim, Sora, for God's sake, man. Hello, everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff, and this is episode 22 of Kingdom Hearts. Last time we further explored Atlantica with the help of a dolphin and found a crystal trident to the sunken ship. Unfortunately, Triton and Aero's relationship had soured, causing her to unwillingly join Ursula in taking him down. But thankfully, she's willing to make amends, and with the help of Sebastian, we're uncovering Ursula's lair. Alright, so of course the last thing we've done is we've just uh, saved in this little den of tides, as uh, as it were. Uh, just skip through all these guys, we don't need to deal with them. I'm just going to head on through this way. Um, as I said at the end of the last episode, I did double check, we actually only have one more um, item that we can collect at the moment, excluding the white trinity that is in um, this near Trident's palace. Um, and that is, in fact, Inertia's Den, so we must be coming up close to the end of, um, of this world. Oh, God. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, it's even creepier than it is in the film. All right, here we are. This is something about Cauldron, isn't it? Your time has come! And magic's in the Cauldron, so that's what we need to attack. Okay. Grass. Go on, everybody. Come on, everybody. It really did a number on it, didn't it? Oh, nice one, Ariel. Oh, God. Just a way to restore magicka. I have to take potions. Should have probably done that first. All right, where's the other one? Um. Hmm. I want whatever whatever is in here. I don't know what you just did, Ursula, but that better not be you restoring health. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see if we can, uh... I was literally one hit off, are you kidding me? Oh, did I do it? I got it. Impossible. Surely not. That's right, we killed your stupid eels. Now we go kill you. Oh, not a 
God damn it. You. Let's go. We must get the trident back. Mermaid kick. Okay. Swim faster or against currents. Equip this and. Oh, okay. So it saves having to use that stupid dolphin. Okay. Something in here. Oh, there we go. Um. It's all clogged up, but let's look for another way. Um, so how do I get the thing in here? Oh, there's like a, a seat or something. Um, how do we get it? Um, oh, we've got a... Is there a purple urchin somewhere? Probably we've got a... Hit that with uh, fire. Anyone see an urchin? I don't want to waste some magic if I don't have it. Um. Hmm. Then we gotta leave and come back. Maybe he didn't spawn in or something. I don't know. Head back. Try it again. Uh, yeah. See, I knew it. Fire. Stupid game. All right. What is it? <laughs> no, you're not gonna give me anything, are you? Wait, oh, it's a chest. Right, okay. I see. Right, we've got Mithril. Nice. Okay, so that is officially all the chests we can open. There is only the white trinity. So we can't open that. So yeah, we've uh, we've literally just gotta just gonna finish this thing. Go to that save point and we'll um actually no we don't need to equip uh, I forgot that you don't need to uh I, I thought you had to go to the save point to attack to a equip abilities. Try to say that. So just the circle button repeatedly. There we go. That is a lot better. Right, it specifically made mention of beating the currents, didn't it? So uh, uh we've, I assume we're gonna go this way. Maybe we're gonna go further up. No, oh, you don't. No, you don't. Row to ye. Stop it. Come on, come on, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it! Nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. That is not good. Uh. I maybe should have made a save. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my, it's a lock. Rody! Could you maybe. <laughs> God, that's a lock, isn't it? No, swim, Sora! For God's sake, man! <laughs> This is not going great. Uh. Okay, okay, let's get out of the way. Oh. 
I don't want the controls are so weird, I don't like them. What is hitting me? I don't understand. Oh no. Third of the way there. Can you do this? Ooh, no, I don't like it. She creeps me out. Okay, it doesn't seem to do anything. So I'm just wasting magic in her. Stop moving around. Like the perspective thing's really throwing me off. Okay, excellent, excellent. We're doing some damage. We're doing some damage. Oh! Well, thanks, thanks, Ariel. Please, yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa! That's not cricket. Oh dear, Donald's down. Donald's down. Donald's down and I don't like it. No problem. I think he's saved my ass enough times I own a potion. Alright. Last health bar. Last health bar. Everyone, come on! We can do this! We can do this! It's the son of a witch down. <laughs> Comedy. Oh, I don't you fucking die, lady. Oh, Donald, don't die again. Come on, I'll spend a potion on you, dude. Yeah, I'm, I need to keep an eye on my own. On my own health. I think we should... Okay, I'm not going to say anything, actually. I take that back. Okay, we were, we did we were fine. <laughs> I was gonna say we should be fine, and then I'm like, oh, what if she's got like some last, some last power? Yeah, that's right. That is right. You dissolve into bubbles and smoke, and electricity. You are dead. Game over. I'll be having that, if you don't mind. Can I keep it? Probably not. <laughs> you are now the ruler of the seas. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault you followed Ursula because I won't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. Oh, you son of a bitch. The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy? Bearer, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. My trance also holds the power to reveal a keyhole. Will you do it? Of course, that's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. Signor Grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. The power of Thunder. Thunder has been upgraded to Thundara. Nice. And Anson's Report Oh, nice. It's been a while since I've had an Anson's Report, hasn't it? I think we got it from the Jafar Genie, and that's it. Alright, excellent. Just, just, no, just, just want to go higher. Yeah, that's a weird thing with this ability. Because obviously, Circle also raises, like, allows you to swim upwards. So, sometimes I find it a bit difficult to determine whether you wanted him to go up or you want him to sp sprint, I suppose. So faster. Ooh, exciting! Let's see another keyhole! There it be! Alright. 
be cool looking. Unlimited power! Nice. We like it, we like it. Excellent. Tell me, Sora, your world? What's it like? Oh, about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. Don't make any deals with creepy people. <laughs> well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. Ah, uh, Sebastian. Right. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. Black Crab Claw. Hey, nice. Alright, let's have a look at that. Um, Crab Claw. Hey, it's actually an upgrade in every department. That's nice. Raises max MP by 1 and enhances magic and summon power. Also deals good physical damage. Excellent. I, why do I got blanks? Oh, it's because I've bloody sold everything, haven't I? That's my bad. No weapon. Damn. Damn. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done here. Um, I'm gonna try one more thing. Um, hopefully it should be quick. If it saves me a trip of having to come back down, it would be nice. Um, let's see if we could get the white mushrooms to spawn and I can get the stopper thing. In the, the back way here. No. no. I did try before, last episode, when um, I was looking around um, and I was trying to find out what to do after the Ursula cutscenes. And I didn't spawn then, maybe we've got to return, or maybe we need Goofy as well. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um. No, just go. Just, no, I don't. That's pretty cool. Let's swim through the hole. Right, I just want to get to a save point so we can go back to the ship. Big shortcut. You know, I'm going to try and find where the, the right hole again. Uh, it's not that one. Pink. Now I'm lost again. Uh, God damn it, this is so confusing, this area. Ah. Here it be. Just one way of getting to it, I suppose. There we go. It's, it's good that this song is so catchy, because otherwise it would be very annoying, considering the loop is so small. <laughs> Stuck in my head for... Bloody, uh, bloody ages. Okay, alright, back to the gummy ship. Master of the Seas. Alright, so we've got two worlds up here. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Go back. 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 Uh, so, right, let's pop back to Trevor's Town, methinks. Go say hello to uh, Winnie and Co. Weird. Who and Co, I should say. Even though that sounds also a bit dodgy. Right. Back again. Right. Uh, we've done that. Um, maybe? Oh, this is new. Okay. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. Take a look. Sure. Okay, I don't think we've got too many more of these. I think there's only two more mini games. Yeah. Oh. I see a Tigger. I see what looks like a Roo. And a big cauldron. It looks like, oh, I see Winnie over there too. Oh, okay. This is the bouncing spot. As I see, um, I see things. Okay. I see things. Okay. Oh, 
it. Help, I'm stuck. Okay. Well, we're having difficulties, it seems. We need a boo. We need a boo. Chop a little cocktail stuff with a piece. We need a boo. We need a boo. With the new piece in the old bear. It'd be nice if I could actually sing it. I didn't have a clogged throat. Clogged, but you know. That sounds dirty. How the bloody hell do we get up there? Why was, must you deceive me this way? Hello. This tree doesn't have any honey I any honey I see. Okay, I can't do that. Um Okay, well let's see what's uh, what's going on first, I suppose. This here's my bouncing spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. You wanna to bounce too? Sorry, it's lots of fun. Okay. To bounce with the finest, you'll need some pointers from the finest. Yeah, I'll come to gloves again. But Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. Okay, yeah, I... I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. Can fly, though. To be fair. To be completely fair. Bounce this way, please. Okay. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. You've got a tigger and a kangaroo. Good for bouncing. Alright, what are we doing? Tigger bounce. Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern, then follow his lead. Here's a little warm up. Okay. All the pattern, I suppose. Alright. Now it's getting tricky. Oh, God damn it, I don't like this. Okay. On. To... Oh no, it goes back to my spot, doesn't it? Okay, alright. To, uh, to the end, then back one, then back again. Right, okay. So just, I, I, I know what I'm doing now. One... Wait, what? How's that wrong? I did that! Are you mad? I literally just freaking did that. <laughs> and you just like, no, it's wrong! Right. One. Jump there. Jump there. Jump there. Jump there. Jump there. And here. And here. And here. Yeah. But damn it. Doing fantastical, this will be the last one. Good. Okay. sake. It's like, go, go back to the beginning. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I, I don't need to see the route again. I just bloody missed. That's all. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> yes, I know. Can we skip this crap? This time, let's not miss. Thank you. Right. You've gotten mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Good, I hope so. Right, Rue? Um, 
Hey, Tigger, I really think he's ready for the big one. Uh-oh. Well, there's only one way to find out. Tigger's giant pot. Whack the nuts back up this pot to shatter it. Wait, what? What? Did... Oh, I'm... Why are you... F why are you jumping? 20 minutes later... Thank God for that. Oh, that was awful. Thankfully we got the cheer ability step with that because you have to do it in 30 seconds. And I just figured at that point, considering how difficult it was and how basically precise you had to be, I was just going to, if I didn't do it, I'd, if I didn't like nail it and hit everyone at the right time, I was just going to leave and retry it. Which is very easy to do. All you need to do is fall off the stump. And of course, once you jump and hit, Sora moves. So if you're not too careful you just end up doing really well and then falling off so yeah wasn't too happy with that one right got mithril nice I've got a thing back up now which is great because I had to go off to look at what I was supposed to do this thing um okay AP up nice um So we did that. Let's try the darkened part of the log. That's what we just did, wasn't it? Uh, Dark matter sparkle behind the seesaw. Um, what are we talking about here? I mean, that just goes back to the map, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, not what we're after, but okay. Talk to owl. Rare nuts grow on these trees. I'll trade you things for them. Okay. Hello. I wonder what this is. What? What is? What are you talking about? What in God's earth are you talking about? Hmm. Come on, Sora. You what does it happen? Um. <laughs> nice, nice. <gasps> Thank you. That matter. Okay, cool. In a small alcove behind the seat. This isn't an alcove. This is a... Oh, Jesus Christ, whatever. I'm beyond questioning this game now. Can I use a seesaw for any... It's not a root. Oh, so he's so good at everything. Thank you. Talking down to me for the past... Oh, what's, what's that done? What has that... Oh. What do we do? I know that's probably the nut that Owl's after, but where do we where do we grab it? It'd be great if we could grab the No, oh, there we go. So to apparently just work close enough. Wait, what? Something highlighted oh just talking to bloody root. Wait, what are you doing, Tigger? Let's go try the seesaw. Okay. Alright, you're still pondering the honey. Still pondering the honey. We are seesaw partner. Okay. Hmm. Let's 
This is mighty. Well, it was interesting. Okay, camera, please. Oh my god, really? Okay. Shield Suji. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay, metal shot. Oh. Okay, that's something. Wait, this is... This is where I just was, game. Oh, I can get up there. Right, okay. Get it? it are you having a giggle? Oh, fucking fantastic. You have to take them back to them one by one? One pick up, pick up more than one? No? Responded, here's something in return. Power up. Nice. You have to get them one at a time, because otherwise I should have been able to get that one up the tree. That is, got to do them one at a time, that's stupid. Okay, defense up, cool. Right. Use you fools again. Oh, can I use you fools again? Why can I? I can't, I've got a whiff. Why no? Thank you. Let's see what Rue can do for us. Okay, nice. Yeah, I can only do them one at a time. Alright. Here's another doubt. Little shot. Right, Rue. Rue, I choose you. Right, I think we need to root for the other one as well. AP up, and then... <laughs> whatever, whatever, I'm done questioning. This, this little page of the Hundred Acre Wood has not been my favourite. Let's let me return. Alright, Galcom, that is it. Look at all these nuts. We couldn't have, couldn't have done it without you. No problem, Chief. Alright, we've got everything from the bouncing spot. We've done Tig Tigger's giant pot. So, Pedro turns to new item, Mithril. That's all well and good. Let's go. So, we've done Tigger's giant pot to the ability, to the standard that will give us the cheer ability. We've got all the stuff at the bouncing spot. Um. So yeah, I think that's it. All right, let's have a look at our journal. Chronicles, Atlantica. Ariel, princess of Atlantica, yearned to go to other worlds, but her dream could not be realized as King Triton, her father, forbade such notions. Ursula took advantage of this to coax Ariel into leading her to T Triton's trident, which she then seized for herself. To atone for a mistake, Ariel went to Ursula's lair with Sora, Donald, and Goofy to retrieve the trident. After her mores were defeated, Ursula used the trident's power to become a giant, but was vanquished in the end. With the trident's power, Sora found the keyhole and sealed it. Excellent. Answer this report. Number three. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of that darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I'm sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts, I will call them the heartless. Characters. Ariel is updated, I think. Um, wasn't there before, was it? Trying to use his daughter, urge the trickster into helping steal his trident with help from Sora and the others, always put right. Still, she's never stopped dreaming of exploring the world outside her father's palace. She deceived Ariel and stole the trident to take over Atlantica. Using its power, she became an enormous monster and battled Sora, Goofy, Goofy and Donald. Oh, Goofy wasn't there, from what I remember. Rue. Rue dreams of bouncing as well as Tigger someday. He's mischievous, energetic, and fearless, but grows uneasy when Tigger is not around. He hops into the screen. Okay. 
Will Kanga show up, I wonder? That'd be interesting. Heartless. Oh yeah, I suppose she isn't heartless, is she? Um, Ursula. Uh, Minigames. We've now done Tigger's Giant Pots. <laughs> and I only did it the one time because I just forced myself to fail every time I did it. So, yeah, pretty cool. I think that's everything. Alright, let us save the game there. Excellent. There we go. Alright, that is going to end it for today. So the Atlantic stuff was pretty cool. I'm pretty happy I managed to take out Ursula both times first time, which is pretty cool. And we're done with Atlantic now. We've sealed the keyhole. And the only reason for us to go back there for until we get the white trinity is to find that um, heart, the white mushroom, of which it is the only one that we can use the stop um, ability on, so we can get that to art. Uh, but other than that, we've not had any indication that the Colosseum is open for another competition, so I don't know what's going on there. Other than that, I don't really think there's anything to do off camera. Uh, we've definitely, we've obviously, we've managed to finally get the cheer ability for the Tigger's Giant Pot, so we don't have to worry about jumping back into 100 Acre Wood, so I expect we'll probably not have anything to do off camera for this next episode as well, unless I just quickly nip into the item shop, but I can do that in the episode, saves me having to mess up with editing. Um, yeah, and then we'll set off for our next world, which will be Halloween Town. So, which, you know, unfortunately we have just passed Halloween, it would have been quite nice if we were there on Halloween, but it is what it is. Also, I hope you guys had a happy Halloween, I really did. I uh, dressed up as Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars, so yeah, that was uh, pretty fun. Anywho, before I put them, I take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patron is Ron Heilig. Find links to his channel as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. And I was going to see great to my £1 patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to top of the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should become a patron, you could follow the link in the description down below. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.